In this next part of our introduction into InfraWorks video, we're going to take a look at exporting your data from Civil 3D. Now there's a few file formats that we can export from, but we at the end of the last video we are left off with just this blank screen here. We got the blue bottom, probably sea level, and the sky up above. Now in some instances I've seen that it's all black below and above. That should hopefully rectify itself when we get the data put into Civil 3D, or into InfraWorks, sorry. So now I'm gonna flip over to Civil 3D, and I've got all my drawings open here with the data that I need for what we wanna do in InfraWorks. The way I've data shortcutted my files together, I have quite a few files. Now, when you're exporting data, there are quite a few different kinds of file formats that we can export from. So the first drawing I'm gonna export is my existing ground and my corridor drawing. So I'm gonna click on existing corridor and I'm gonna select the file, export, land XML. I do not want to export everything, so I'm gonna deselect the uncheck all, but I'm gonna uncheck everything. And I want my existing ground. Now, when I'm exporting files, I like to do them one by one. So I will probably run a couple commands here to export everything that I need. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select my desktop. Now, these files, when we import them into InfraWorks, will be forever linked. So if you plan on keeping this project around, I suggest saving them on a network location or your D drive, not just a throwaway location like your desktop. I'm going to select my InfraWorks export folder and I'm just going to leave this named exist. I'm going to name this existing ground.xml. And Civil 3D is going to go and export that. I'm also going to go file, export land XML. I want my design ground as well, my combined road design. We'll hit OK. I'm going to name this final road design. And then I'm going to file export land XML again. And I want all of my corridors. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to name this corridors. Another way to access these commands is if you go to the output tab. So on your ribbon, the output tab, there is an export to land XML button, but we're exporting a corridor right now, so nothing is selectable. So I'll give that a minute to finish. Okay, that is finished. So again, here's our export to land XML button. We also have an export IMX, which we will run on this fully completed file. I'm going to import all these objects and just to show you kind of what everything does. So I'm going to export an IMX. Uh, do you want to save your drawing before you export it? Sure. And then uh, Civil 3D asks you where you would like to save this. Now I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I'm going to uh, change, save that path there or change that path. And I'm just going to copy and paste. So I wanted to go to my just my desktop in the folder I made. I'm going to hit enter. And again, I'm exporting an entire Civil 3D drawing. I'm going to hit enter. I want version 2.1. And the IMX is done. However, it looks like it uh, put it on my desktop because I was supposed to name the file. I'll just drag and drop it into that folder, which I have on my desktop here. Now back into Civil 3D, we can export and import our alignments as well. Now I tend to use the alignments from the corridor drawing, the ones that I built the corridors out of. So I'm going to export to land XML again. And I want my alignments used to build my road. So I don't want the bulb, I don't want the curb returns. 
So I want my 64th Avenue down here, Teradale Place and Teradale Way is just what I've named them. We'll hit OK and I'll name these Road Alignments. I'm going to switch over to my parcels drawing now. So I've got my parcels in their separate drawing and I've data shortcutted them into the various drawings as needed. Or not data shortcut, XREFT. I want to export civil objects to a space or an SDF file. So where does it, where is it going to save it? I'm going to click that button. I'm going to go again to my desktop, my InfraWorks export, and I'm going to name these parcel.spatial SDF spatial data files. We'll hit save and we'll hit OK. So it's going to take all the civil 3D objects in this drawing and export them. And as we see here, it's exported 102 parcels. We can do points, alignments, pipes, and structures as well. So under my sanitary and storm networks, I'm going to do export civil objects to SDF. However, I want to make sure, well, I do have a lot of surfaces and whatnot in here as well. So we're going to just give this a try. Again, make sure your coordinate system is set up. Can 83-3T. 3TM114. Oh, I typed that in the wrong box. We'll hit OK. Oh, I saved it in the wrong location. So I will be back. All right, it successfully made that file and has placed it in the previous folder location. So I'm just going to select it from here. And I'm going to copy and paste it to my InfraWorks export folder that I have on my desktop there. I am going to do the same thing with my water run. I'm not sure if pressure pipes can be inserted into InfraWorks. We will give that a try and see if, if it happens. So this is already focusing on my InfraWorks. I just want it to name it water.sdf. We'll hit save and again, set up your coordinate system. It should automatically read it from the drawing if the drawing is set up. I don't think I have mine set up though. And I'll hit OK. And it's exported five alignments, 33 pipes, 33 structures. So I don't think it's grabbed my water network. I do have my sanitary and storm just referenced over here. Yeah, so five alignments, 33 pipes, and 33 structures. So it, it looks like it cannot do pressurized pipes yet. Let's just try and export to land XML and see if that is included in the list of options. Pipe networks, oh, pressure networks. So we're gonna export both of these as a water.xml, and I'm gonna do my sanitary and storm as well, just in case some of the exports didn't work. I'll hit escape, export land XML. I want my san pipe networks, sanitary and storm. And we'll save that. Now there is one other way to get data out of Civil 3D and the previous video we inserted that NTV 2.0 file. This is mainly why. I believe the command is map export. So if you type in map export, we can save things as shape files. You can do the SDF file. We can do all sorts of files here. Mainly the when I run this command is to do a shape file. So if I want to export a polyline or I want to export some other kind of line work, we're just going to name this uh, subdivision. I'm not actually going to export anything with this command. However, just to show the options here, we can export points, lines, polygons, or text. Now, when I've done this in the past, I've exported my subdivision line work. I've gone through and I've traced every single lot to do a coverage area instead of exporting the parcels themselves. So we can export polygons. You can make sure there's a coordinate system. Uh, there's no coordinate system assigned to this current drawing, so we would have to assign one. So make sure your drawing has a coordinate system, and then you can export the shapefile, which you can then import into Amphorworks. So this was just a quick video on exporting various bits of data from Civil 3D into some files that we can then import into InfraWorks. So we'll just take a look at the folder here. We have corridors. Uh, this is the IMX of our entire project. 
So XML of the existing ground, the final road parcels, which is the SDF file, road alignments, sanitary and storm, which we did the SDF and the XML, and then the water SDF and XML. In the next video, we will look at importing those into InfraWorks.